am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. But you can come too, so jump on, quick, hurry. <laughs> So I have to do a reading on the sideshow that is the Trump Organization, and uh, that's what this will be about. Uh, full Celtic Cross on that uh, uh, impossible uh, spectacle that we've been a part of for more than four years, for an awful long time. It just got serious in the last four years. Um, and are we going to get satisfaction uh, regarding that before the end of the year? That's the question. So I've got this new deck, and uh, I thought we'd talk about uh, Donald Trump's um, justice. And since the whole thing seems to be a sideshow and a circus, what better uh, cards than these? Now, honestly, uh, I got the idea of these cards from uh, Lena Rodriguez, uh, Tarot Down Under. And uh, she's terrific. She's got an edge to her tarot, uh, which I love. And uh, so she had these cards, and I thought, wow, those were terrific. And so I sent off for them, and here they are. This is the first time I've used them, although I've been, I've been playing with them for uh, a bit. Uh, a couple of days, I guess. So, Sideshow Tarot. They come in a great box, and they're they're written by this fellow and illustrated by Joe Lee. And I'm going to tell you who Joe Lee is. Joe Lee has been clowning around since his early days in rural Indiana. In college, he juggled art studies with a degree in medieval history. Joe furthered his education at the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Clown College. You know, I'm from Florida, and I know very well about the Barnum and Bailey Clown College in Florida. Uh, he then worked as a professional circus clown with Ringling Brothers and other shows. After leaving the circus life, Joe moved to New York City, where he studied and later taught art classes. Joe had occasional gigs as a fire eater. Joe returned to Indiana, where he currently lives and works as an illustrator. He illustrated and wrote a number of books, including The History for, of Clowns for Beginners. He's a regular contributor of editorial cartoons to the Bloomington Herald Times, Joe has been teaching cartoon art and illustrating illustration for over nine years, and Joe's lifelong interest in the circus prompted him to create the Legrand Circus Tarot Deck. The 78 card showcase Joe's talent as a cartoonist and are reminiscent of mid-century circus posters. And you know what? There's no better way to tell you about these cards than to have read that to you, because that's exactly what they are. And look at the cover card for this. It is a circus poster. I mean, it's everything that a circus poster should be. So... It's a good little book. Uh, it gives you some insight into his uh, interpretation for these images, and the images are hysterical. I mean, they're perfect. And so I couldn't think of anything better for uh, this uh, clown uh, who was number 45. So I thought I'd show you the cards, of course, like I, I try to do, and um, they're very colorful. They're an odd size, but oddly enough, it's kind of a comfortable size to use, for me anyway. And uh, the cards have kind of a matte finish on them that's not too slicky, and it's got a little bit of grip to it. And they're just very pleasant cards to use. This Joe Lee um, did his uh, homework, and he made some great cards. So, you know, I like to show you these cards in advance in case you don't get to see tarot cards quite a bit. And uh, these were designed to be divined in the uh, style of the Rider Waite system, which we was so glad for. Uh, because that's uh, certainly my favorite uh, uh, system to use for divination of these tarot cards, or any tarot cards. But, um, so we'll use these up, and we'll see if we can get some intention in here to give us some clues as to, um, I'm thinking about the timing of the final downfall of the Trump circus. You know, the greatest show on earth uh, is uh, what it has been, honestly. And once he discovered television and stardom, Man, he was nonstop. I mean, he rode it all the way to the highest office in the world, the president of the United States of America, the, the leader of the free world. Unbelievably scary. Uh, literally, his election in 2016 sent me to the doctor for a prescription uh, uh, pills. To uh, And I'm not kidding. I mean, that's not a joke. That's uh, the honest-to-God truth. And, um, and uh, so... These cards are just the perfect uh, mix of what he is. He's a show that's trying to fight. Oh, no, I've dropped a card on the floor. So you'll just have to put up with me stretching out here to get it. Um, his, um, what was that? That was the Seven of uh, Cups. So illusion and delusion. <laughs> but um, 
his life is just this is the perfect uh, uh, metaphor for his life. A bunch of a bunch of uh, sideshows uh, that are trying to uh, uh, tempt the money out of the pockets of the attendees and um, with trickery and uh, entertainment. <laughs> That's what it was. Oh man, spooky. So we'll do this. I'll do a cut, and I'll spread these cards and pull out. Let's see what do, what can the question be? The question has to be: Will there be justice for the American people before the end of the year, or by the end of the year, by the end of um, 2021? Will there be justice, at least in the works, for the American people by the end of this year, 2021? Justice regarding the Trump circus for the American people by the end of 2021. Let's see what the answer might be. So we'll take six cards at first. That's two, three, four, five, six. You know, I get a feeling that it's going to be longer than that um, somehow. So uh, we'll put those cards there because we're going to need them for the last four cards of the Celtic Cross that I'll pull. And uh, so the question is, um, will there be justice for the American people regarding the Trump circus by the end of 2021? And the signifier card for that then is the Queen of Coins. And you know, what's interesting about this card, the Queen of Coins for this uh, Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot uh, by Joe Lee, the, the, what's significant about this is you have this Queen of Coins. She's really studying the accounts. It actually says accounts right there. I don't know if you can see it. But she's studying the accounts carefully. The money is stacked up on the table. She even has a coin in her hand that she seems to be recording. And um, this is very interesting. The light is uh, showered down on the scene here from this banker's lamp. So this is a signifier card for will there be um, justice this year, by the end of this year. And this is the queen of coins as a signifier. I wonder if that can mean that they'll just be really getting down to the detail by the end of the year. The challenge to this Queen of Coins, then, is judgment. Wow. 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 Okay. So judgment. Um, I'll let you see this card, too. Um, judgment is, that, is just that. It's, it's, a, it's a calling uh, for, uh, um, in this case, it seems to be a calling, call for action. But the judgment uh, in, in, this, in these cards is a little bit reversed. The fellow who's above here is uh, calling um, the to the to the crowd, and the crowd really seems to be judging his performance. Uh, you would think of judgment as the deity uh, judging the um, the subjects. So it is topsy turvy. The whole thing is upside down. But uh, so the signifier queen of coins studying the accounts is challenged by judgment that seems to be topsy turvy. More the the enthralled uh, crowd judging the, if you want to say, authority. That's interesting. Um, the uh, base of this reading, then, is strength. You know, it's strength for everybody. You know, we have to have strength to uh, to wait uh, for judgment and be patient. And uh, those people who are fighting against judgment are going to have to have strength. And those people who are uh, the officials who are seeking judgment have to have strength. So strength really is the base of everything that has to do with this question as to whether uh, 45 will will uh, see give us some satisfaction in this regard before the end of the year. In the past, the recent past of this reading hmm, is the Four of Swords. And um, the Four of Swords uh, speaks to us of um, retreat, recuperation. Um, yeah, that makes sense to me. Retreat, recuperation. Um, so what... Uh, all the parties, all the parties involved in this situation, the guilty parties, the affected parties, and the uh, official parties who are trying to met out the truth, um, um, is that um, you have to have the patience and bear the weight of the problem until it's, the, until it's all revealed. Uh, in the sky for this reading, then, is the magician. Wow. Yeah. And again, it's, it, this, the magician is everybody in this scenario. The magician... Uh, well, it's not, according to this card. Okay, I like this then. So the magician uh, has everything at his disposal to, um, to, to make 
this thing happen, or at least to make it appear to happen. And uh, But what's under the table for the magician is a, a devil and an angel at the same time. So you've got to have some good luck, and you've got to have some devilish tricks. So I feel like these are the this, this magician represents all the prosecutors. This peace dove represents us, the American people. And so, yeah, so these are the prosecutors across the board and they, you know, they're attorneys. They have to balance uh, this uh, uh, this uh, inspiration against uh, whatever they've got up their sleeve. Hmm. It's pretty interesting. Magician. The likely outcome for this first part of this Celtic cross, whew, it's the hanged man. And it just, uh, it just uh, went through my mind that this whole thing could come out nil, hung, you know, no decision. Um, but I'm going to say that the traditional meaning of the hangman is looking at something from another perspective and you're being forced, uh, into that, uh, situation. It's not deadly at all, at all. It's, it's, and this fellow can get out of his hangman situation. The ro rope is just wrapped around his leg. So he can undo himself, flip himself around and stand up and be uh, somewhat freer, although not completely free because his hands are tied. And, but the longer that he does uh, stay in this position, the weaker he becomes. So a hanged man, look at something from another position, or in fact, a hanged situation. So let's get on to the self, the self, the self of the Trump circus uh, regarding whether there will be um, satisfaction uh, in the name of justice before the end of the year. Uh, I think what I want to do is spread these cards out. So I'm going to switch these around like that. Yeah, that makes me feel better. Okay. The first card then for that is going to be the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups speaks to um, pleasures of the past. Um, you know, memories, um, a nostalgia for how things were. Um, yeah, so that's what the Trump Organization is, is buried in. Uh, trying, uh, wishing that things were the way they were before they were discovered. This card's sticking out, so I'll grab it. So the uh, environment that that's in, look at that, is the devil. Of course it is. The environment that this organization is, is in the tricks and the uh, games that they're chained to uh, and sworn to. Uh, and who does this even look like, as a matter of fact? Yeah. So this is uh, the environment that uh, they find themselves in, all the tricks that they thought they've had up their sleeves. Um, the hopes and the fears, then would be all oh, the seven of coins. The seven of coins is wondering, have I done enough? And again, this is an interpretation that can go for either side of the the uh, coin here. Have I done enough? As far as the Trump circus wondering, have they done enough to, um, to keep the game going? Have they drawn in all the possible shills that they can from all their schemes, uh, which have now turned uh, political uh, fundraising? And uh, from the prosecuting side of this, have they done everything? Have they studied the situation well enough to recognize all the games, all the false tickets that were sold? Because uh, that's what these are, ticket stubs, uh, to, this, uh, to this endeavor. The final outcome for all of this, then, I'll take it from right here, is going to be, wow, wow, that's fantastic. Okay, that's the tower. That's the tower moment. That is uh, utter downfall. So it looks to me like by the end of the year, we may be seeing some satisfaction from all of this. That is encouraging. So that was the read on uh, the, the sideshow. It started out um, <laughs> with the, the Queen of Coins uh, being challenged uh, by judgment. Of course it is. Uh, so that's what we started at. Uh, the, every single card in this read was significant. So I'm just going to pick out four, maybe five um, that were that were the best ones. Uh, in the sky of that reading then is uh, we had the magician, which I felt like that was more the, all the prosecutors, all of the prosecutors uh, having to know how to manage uh, their devilish ways against their um, uh, heavenly uh, divine uh, justice. Um, the challenge uh, was that the Trump Organization wants things the way they used to be with the Six of Cups, but they're in the uh, environment of the devil that they're chained to. And then um, for the hopes of the fears, with the Seven of Coin, both sides are just wondering, have I done enough to finish this off? And then the final card for the whole reading, of course, is the tower. And it's the tower for uh, the circus. That's what it's the tower for.
you'll notice that we don't see circuses so much anymore. They're kind of a thing in the past. Well, my name's Mark. This has been my journey to, through tarot and uh, my little uh, sideshow. And I'm glad you came by. If you come back tomorrow, we'll be in another ring and uh, we can see what happens there. So until then, ciao for now. <laughs>